is at record high, but the stock that's been the stock of the last 12 months is Escorts. Uh, it's been a phenomenal surge for the stock from 120 all the way up to 500, and it's been, of course, backed by numbers as well. Uh, Bharat Madan, CFO of Escorts, is with us now. Uh, Bharat, good morning. Uh, you know, your last reported sales saw 30% year-on-year growth, uh, uh, but now the base effect will catch up uh, with, with Escorts. Uh, what kind of run day do you think you'll be able to sustain? Yeah, good morning, Anuj. No, I think the, obviously, like you said, the base has actually gone up this year, so after two years of decline, so definitely next year you can't see the similar growth pattern on the industry side. But but our expectation is, I think, still in the first quarter, which is normally a strong levy season, will continue to share double-digit growth. It may not be as high as 20-30% sort of growth rate, but it will be still, I think, strong double-digit growth can continue. And obviously, after that, a lot will depend on how the monsoon, monsoon easily spreads out and how the monsoon really actually spreads out on pan-India basis and if the monsoon happens to be good, you can actually expect the uh, industry reaching a new peak next year and probably you can again see a double-digit growth in the full year basis. But if it's bad, then probably you can have a slow single-digit growth in the industry still. Okay. Uh, Bharat, good morning. Thanks for joining. Uh, what really are the factors that impact uh, tractor sales? I mean, uh, a poor monsoon would nevertheless, uh, you know, the um, uh, extent of money that richer farmers can uh, uh, deploy would continue to remain a constant. Uh, so if the general sentiment improves, uh, by which I mean, see, for instance, the political sentiment in Uttar Pradesh, if there is a pro-development sentiment, will that in any way add to the, uh, uh, you know, tractor sales or demand for such goods? Yeah, I'm sure. I think all the government policies, if they favor agriculture sector, definitely that's going to have a positive impact. And we've seen it in the last budget announcement also by the ministers. So, which is actually a lot of favorable policies announcement which has happened on the agri space. And, and if you look at the last month also, in spite of the election being there in both the states of Punjab and UP, both the states have actually shown growth rate, good growth rates. So, which is quite positive. So, we expect, I think it's not only the monsoon which, uh, which will really impact the sentiment positively. There are also other factors like the MSP, the productivity of the crop has been good, so harvest, you've seen the three harvest was good this time, Ravi sowing has been good, so everybody is expecting a very good harvest on the Ravi side also. And the prices have also been increased by the government and also a lot of policy announcements which are favorable for the industry. I think all these factors will all add up to along with the positive sentiments leading to all the industry growth. Okay, Mr. Madan, good morning. Uh, you know, your uh, margin morning. scalability is something that has really enthused the street. I mean, even in the quarter gone by, in the nine months of the full year, your margins have gone up to almost 8%. Uh, analysts on the street are forecasting even 10, 10.5% margins because of your efforts to reduce costs. Uh, is that something that we could stare, uh, we could be looking at double digits margins very soon? And if yes, by when? So that's something that the company has been internally working on uh, for a long time. So I think last two, two and a half years, a lot of efforts have really gone into controlling costs. And those efforts are continuing even going forward. So I think uh, that's our internal target to really take it to the double digit level in the next two to three years time frame. And I think everybody here in the team is working on that direction. Uh, well, uh, uh, Bharat, uh, you know, how much are you in terms of capacity utilization? Will you have to think of capex now that sales look like uh, are robust? Yeah, currently this year on the tractor side, the utilization levels will be close to 65 watt percent. And on the construction equipment side, it will be even lower at 30, 35 percent. So, so I think in terms of capacity, we don't think there's a really concern for next three years to really spend money on that. Unless we reach a level of 85, 90 percent capacity utilization, probably you will have to start thinking about that. But I think as of now, it looks too premature. Okay. Uh, just one final question on what the export potential could be because I was going through your presentation where you say that your goal is to reach 10,000 tractor exports in the medium term. That's a tall ask compared to what you're doing right now. So in the short term, over the next one to two years, what kind of export growth are you looking at? <coughs> So I think this year we probably will end up with 1,000 plus tractors in terms of export and next year we are aiming to doubling that number to 2,000 plus numbers. So, so the target of 8 to 10,000 tractors is a long term target. So we are looking at 4 to 5 years sort of timeline to really achieve that sort of number. And we don't think it's really impossible within the past we were used to doing about 4 to 5,000 tractors export which was way back in 2006, 2007. Mm. And that after that we exited some of the market like US which, which were not really making good money and we had the strong appreciation of the rupee at that time. Mm. So I think once we reopen those markets and there's a lot of 
product portfolio which is getting expanded on the export side on which we are investing today and most of the products are in the market in the next one year i think we'll see strong growth momentum coming on the export side also and also help us in de-risking our domestic market strategy here okay we look forward to that thank you very much bharat madan for joining us uh, with your take on uh, the tractor sector and your own prospects